Today I'm going to introduce you to a an amazing woman of faith. And her name just happens to be Faith. She travels with her adult daughter. Her name is Faith. Faith says you got to have a little faith. She has and her daughter have worked and traveled all across the USA. And Faith has also backpacked in Africa. She's been to Israel. She has an amazing story of how she has just gone out full time. I say living life large times 10. I can't wait for you to meet her. So with no further ado, hope you'll join us. Faith. Hi, Linda. Hey, wonderful to see you again. We ran into each other, I think a couple days ago, but, but really first met in 2020, right? Yes, yes. At the, at the uh, WRTR. Right. But before that, because I knew you from YouTube and I watch you and you helped me start my journey. Oh, <laughs> blessings to you, girl. Yes. Thank you for that. You know, divine intervention. Yes. God's using, yes. using this babbling brook, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> So how are you doing? I'm wonderful, fabulous. Good, yes. good, good. And I think, um, so what's your travel journey looking like right now these days? Full time, part time, what are you? Oh, I'm full Anything you want to share? I am full time. I, I was backpacking in Africa, so. Backpacking in Africa? Yeah. In, um, oh, take me with 2019. you. And um, that's all I owned was in my backpack because I gave everything away, dropped the house, dropped everything to to do this adventure. Um, and then after I traveled for a year uh, of 2019, I came back from Israel and I was like, hmm, I'm going to get a car. So I got on Craigslist at 7 o'clock in the morning. By 10 o'clock, I was on my way to Miami, Florida, bought a Honda Odyssey minivan, and started my journey just like that. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. So I'm that telling you, you don't let any grass grow under your feet. Absolutely. There's sand in the desert. <laughs> I stumped on all the <laughs> grass. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh my gosh. Yes. So what were you doing first? Backpacking in Africa. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, everybody I meet has a first. <laughs> I have never met anybody in my life doing that. Yeah. Did you see cool animals? Yeah, I did a safari. My favorite was riding the camel in Ethiopia up to the volcanic mountain. That was my favorite. I love camels. <laughs> well, talk about living life large. I think you're living life uh, gigantically. Oh, yeah, yeah. When I retired in 2017, it was on. <laughs> All on. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So you don't have a home base? No, no. My daughters, uh, my daughter just had a son, and so I go, I spent a year there after she had the baby, um, and then I left again. <laughs> Are you traveling with anybody now, or? Yes, I'm traveling with my 26-year-old daughter. You're kidding, <laughs> yes, that's fantastic. Yes. Oh, and um, you know what, I remember her from the other day, and she has your namesake. Yes, yes, I had to have a little faith. <laughs> L a little faith. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh my gosh. Next time around, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna do that. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. And how's she liking it? She's loving it. She's like being, like what kind of rig are you in now? We're still in the Honda Odyssey. Really? And you're, st and you're still uh, getting along as mother and daughter? Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> isn't buried in the desert yet. So. No? Okay. She's not run away from mom. No, she hasn't run away. She's, she's liking it. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. You must have a good, solid relationship, we too. We do. We do. We've been doing nomad jobs along the way. Oh, tell me about that. Or yeah. tell us about that. Oh, yeah. We started, um, um, it's a merchandiser. And uh, we were setting up Dollar Generals and 
stocking their shelves and stuff like that in their new stores that were opening up. And we started in Myrtle Beach and we worked, I wanted to go to Mount Shasta, so we worked across country. <laughs> to Mount Shasta? Yeah. Where's yeah. that at again? In California. In California, Northern yeah. Northern California, yeah. All right. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, we worked our way across country and enjoying ourselves. Then we came back and worked a couple of months in Colorado. Um, and then I injured my foot and that was, uh, took three months to heal. So what do I do? I go to Hawaii to heal. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> and you actually, did you actually stealth there on the no, streets or I, what? I was, I was going to stealth. Um, a friend of mine lived there and she was going to rent out, rent her van to me. And then, you know, something happened that fell apart and she couldn't rent it, but I couldn't walk. I still, it was two months in and I still was on a cane. Um, so I got to stay in her, her basement was, was beautiful. Um, yeah, any basement in Hawaii, I'll, any, I'll live there. Yeah, and I just put my foot up and just <laughs> for two weeks solid just laid in her basement and the palm trees healed you and they healed and the weather me. and they talked to me and you know uh, the Christ consciousness came in and, and healed me and all kinds of stuff oh wow that yeah. is fantastic yeah. and was your daughter back in a certain area or um she she went back to philadelphia with my daughter and grandson mm -hmm. Um, while I was in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> um, Philadelphia, Hawaii, okay. Yeah. And after I I spent like th three weeks healing, then I went to a, a cryon con uh, retreat in Kauai. What's a cryon? A cryon is, um, uh, he's, um, he channels um, the Palladians and, and um, it's really interesting. That's all I can say. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that'd be a different yeah. video, different day. Different day. Yes, right, right. wow. And um, then what did you do in Israel? Um, in Israel, I just was there. Um, I was, um, like, after I came back from Africa, I wolfed, you know, Worldwide Organization for Organic Farms. Oh. Wolfing. Uh -huh. Okay, and that's where you go onto a farm and you kind of help them. You plant seeds, you grow, you, and they give you meals and a place to stay, and you help them on their farm. Um, so I did that on the Big Island back in 2018. Um, wow. No, that wow. was the beginning of 2019. I can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> I think I got to step up my game. I thought I was living life large. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. And um, so uh, after I left Hawaii, I went to Taos, New Mexico. And then I, uh, I wolfed there and then I found out there was, there was this guy. I got a backtrack. This guy I met in Rwanda, Africa. He was from Arizona. <laughs> Oh my and gosh. He was like, Oh, when you go to New Mexico, you have to go to the ashram. I'm like, Ashram, I'm not into Buddhist. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you have to go to the ashram. And, and he kept saying that. And we kept in touch. I only met him overnight at a, at a hostel there. But um, so a year later, you know, like, hey, I'm in, I'm in New Mexico. He said, Oh, you got to go to the ashram. And so I found that I was only a mile from the ashram. So I walk up to the ashram and I couldn't leave. I was like, I'm home. <laughs> and so their motto was to love everyone, feed everyone, and be kind. You know, that's all. And all you do, and you know, you volunteer and uh, you give back and they feed you. You know, they have these big meals every Saturday and Sunday and Wednesday and it's like anybody could come and eat and it's just volunteer 
and they have a big farm in the back. They grew their own foods and stuff, and uh, uh, and I was like loving it. And wow, so, and so God just never let that out. Yeah, yeah. He just kept bringing that guy back. Right, you right. gotta go to the ashram. <laughs> like, why? What? Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. That's Love fantastic. It. And so I, you know, I was kept bugging them. I want to chop vegetables, you know. And so they were like, okay, come and stay. <laughs> wow. And, so, and they said, you could camp out, put, pitch your tent on the backfield, and you could stay. Oh, well, there was a lot of people pitching tents back there, so I, no problem. And then after a week in back there, they were like, okay, there's a position opening up. You can have a house, uh, a room in our house, and it's, uh, you can spend the winter time. Yes, yes. But after a, three months, itchy feet, <laughs> and I said, I Gypsy want, soul. Yeah, I was like, I want to see the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So, so bring me back to the Middle East. <laughs> you asked me what I do in Israel. So <laughs> that's a long way around to Israel. Oh, that's great. That's so, great. And how many um, states have you been to? Back uh, to the, we're bringing you back to the states. Uh, the states, I, I've been across country. Um, I did... In 19, after I got the van in December, I drove across to the RTR where we met in January. And then um, then I drove up to Mount Shasta. I picked up my sister in Oklahoma City, in the city and a friend in Colorado. And then we went to Mount Shasta. So all of that, and then um, I came back across um, uh, to South Dakota and then back down. And <laughs> so you've been all over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, all over. Yeah, wherever. Well, I'm Faith, like. it has just been beautiful. I could talk to you for another five hours, yeah, 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 which yeah. we can do. And I thank you so much for sharing and 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 being a follower. I really appreciate that. You yes. you have some some extraordinary stories. And I guess lastly is if if you haven't already when are you writing your book oh oh i'm like the clouds the clouds can't write a book because they move so fast <laughs> <laughs> i don't know and then they write i can't i i, 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 I can't. suggest i highly suggest you write your book so oh, I, I can't i can't sit still Okay. I can't even read a book. <laughs> oh, nevertheless, <laughs> write one. <laughs> oh, that's but funny. I just love it, love meeting people and, and telling my story and getting them on the road. I, my sister's on the road now. I have another friend who, you know, packed up her four bedroom and she's on the road. Now. All right. And I'm like, you're going to get the whole world on I'm the road. I'm going to get us on the road. Get us on the road, girl. <laughs> So yes. with that, Faith, you know, <laughs> blessings in your day yes. and joy, joy in the journey. Yes, thank you. And I'm Faith. I live in peace and light. That's the name of my vehicle, Faith and Peace and Light. It's uh, Truth and Light. Truth and Light. Yes. Fantastic. Light. Yes. What a blessing you are, Faith. Thank you so much. Thank and you, Linda. We'll talk to you again. Okay, take care. You too. <laughs>